closely contested first half so far. The Hawks leading. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. Thank you, Kevin. Well, we all know about Ray Allen's consistency as a shooter, and that consistency is something he strives for on and off the court. The same pregame shooting routine, the same pregame meal, the same parking spot outside the arena. He admits he may be a little bit obsessive. Former teammate Paul Pierce said, quote, if I had to stick to the exact same thing every day, I'd kill myself. I love Ray, but I don't get it. I'm not ever going to be at the free throw line saying, dang, I didn't get my parking spot today. Guys? The door is for all of his downsides. That devotion to repetition is part of what's made Allen such an amazing shooter. At the end of the day, it certainly worked for him. Yeah, just one for four here in the first quarter, so a very slow start for this club. You know, as tight as this game is, you have to like their chances the way they've been rebounding. They have a pretty good margin in that department, so they've got to continue to hit the boards hard, and it'll pay off for them in the end. Well, good job finding a little opening in the defense and burying the jumper. Back to Bosch. With the lead pass. It's picked off. And here comes Smith leading the fast break. Pachulia, no luck. I'd like to see a two-for-one situation here, Clark. I agree. I think it's... Oh, oh, oh ridiculous. Tore it down that time. <laughs> I tell you what, you need to archive that one for the highlight tape. Oh, yeah, that, that is a keeper. You're correct. Man, that was incredible. Yeah, and those plays will give your team a huge boost. And the Heat with some changes. Anthony Tolliver. He's checked in for Julie. And Lewis Williams subbed in for Josh Smith. Unloads from nine. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Miami trailer. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. And the officials call over the back. A little too aggressive there. Yeah, that was kind of clumsy looking. He was not going to get away with that. He climbed all over him like he was on the ladder. I mean, that's a, an easy over the back call there. There's 18 seconds left in the third. He dishes it to T. Back to Williams. That's good, and so T with the assist. You know, Kevin, they were a step late on their defensive rotation, and that helped them get right to the rim. Cole dishes to LeBron. Connects on the 17-footer. And you can just see what his offense means to this team. I mean, it's obvious. They really rely on him to score the basketball. And we... So as we get rolling here in the fourth quarter, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite uncontainable game. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. For the Hawks, it's been an uncontainable game for their shooting guard off the bench. With the way the scoreboard sits right now, you have to wonder if it would be this close without his great play off the bench. He's been a huge factor. And Doris, thank you. What a great performance indeed. Such a huge lift to your team when you can get this production from a reserve. Yeah, in my mind, Kevin, he's been the most valuable player of this game. And you can say that about somebody coming off the bench. I mean, that, that just shows you the impact uh, that, that one person can have on this game. Well, like Kevin said, it is a huge lift. I mean, I think a performance like that coming from a sub really energizes everybody else. It's contagious. Into Smith. He gathers. In for the dunk. Well, after he threw that one down, he felt free to hang around for a little while. A little extra emphasis at the end. Now, you got to be careful, too, on that. It uh, used to be an automatic technical foul. They'll still call it at times, but they're a little more selective with the call. Miller kicks to Bosch. Back to Miller. He's moving the ball around. Open look. And again, LeBron James. LeBron's now got four points in the quarter. Boy, just terrible defense there. Steve, really just a layup line for the most part. I mean, not much defense at all either way. Super defensive play. I mean, if that pass gets through, it's probably two points. And he knew that. He knew if it gets through, it's a score. So that's why he sold out for it and got a hand on it. And the Hawks making a change here. Pachulia is checked in. Ray Allen is checked in for Miami. Wade comes in for Mike Miller. And Kron with the block. Here's Horford. It falls! And he has brought them to within two points. Big time shot. Really clutch. 
Wade outside. LeBron outside. Nails it! Boy, they're having major trouble dealing with LeBron. The Hawks have gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. That's tipped. Out of bounds, Hawks ball as Atlanta keeps possession. Kyle Corver, he's checked in for Lou Williams. And Miami also making a switch. Battier's checked in. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's the dish to Horford. Yes! And he has brought them to within two points. Huge shot there, and the crowd, Clark knows it. Complete euphoria there, Kevin. They're going crazy. You talk about some happy people, man. These fans are fired up. Corver passes to Teague, and stolen by LeBron. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you can't let them pound the ball and just milk those precious seconds away. No other option here but to foul and hope for a few misses at the line. And he commits the intentional foul. Gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. Some clutch free throws to close it out. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They trail by four. Twelve seconds left in the fourth. What's your take, guys? Well, they're drawing up the only thing they can here. I mean, just get off a quick one and then go ahead and foul. I think free throws are going to be front and center the rest of the way here. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Larry Drew said to his team. He told his guys, listen, we've got to make the most of every opportunity right now. We can win this game, but it's all about making every single possession count. Guys, we'll see if they can come back. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Atlanta calls timeout. They're down by four. Seven seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? And obviously time is the big factor here, guys. They need to get points fast and then go for the steal, and if not, a quick foul. Hard as it is, you just have to hope the guy you send to the line doesn't convert. And there's the foul to try to stop the break, and that'll be a clear path to the basket. Two free throws coming up, and they'll retain possession. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a six-point ball game. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five-second violation. Outside team, off target. And so it's Miami winning this.